All right, this is going to be a tutorial on adding shooting enemies inside the zombie survival template. So I'm going to be using AI Behavior Toolkit. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is open your third person character right here. Then click on Add Component. And there's two things you want to add. There's Behavior Component here. And there's another Behavior Trigger right here. Behavior Trigger Component. And then you're going to want to go to your third person up here, type in tags, add a new one, and call it player. We'll compile and save that. And then we're going to want to open a demo map. I'm going to open up my arena one, save. All right. So then I'm going to want to go into my AI Behavior Toolkit, Examples, Example Shooter, and then the Shooter Enemy, I'm going to want to right click and create a child blueprint, and I'm going to call it like BP underscore ZST Shooter. AI, BP, all right, right there. I'm going to make sure you can shoot me. And you can. I changed his bullet colors earlier to green. You can change them to whatever you like. Alright. Now when I shoot him, he doesn't add points or count towards the zombie total. So that's a problem. So we'll set that up. Uh, before I do that, I'll show you how I change the bullet color. I just open my new child blueprint. I type in projectile. Projectile class. Right here. So if you want to have zombies spit in acid or something, that's kind of what I did a little tutorial for. But and you open up this projectile, go to your viewport, click on this, and you can change the color here. So I, I just change it to green. I can change it to blue for just for you guys. So I'll change it to blue for now. So they're shooting water. I don't know. All right. So we change the projectile class, and now we got to get this character set up to add to your scoreboard so when you kill them it adds to your points and your score so there's no score there's no counting towards anything so let's set that up I actually made a convenient little blueprint here deleted all the junk out of it and you guys can pretty much copy this right in so take everything except for this you don't need that and control C then we're gonna open our ZSTAI and we're going to go to the event graph and we're going to paste it in and then confirm. Make sure you give yourself enough room and then there's a thing called client is zombie dead somewhere here. I'll just compile it and it'll show us. So these things here you're going to want to right click create variables on all this stuff. Right click create variable Client zombie dead. That's fine. Count towards wave total. Right click, create variable. Then go to file, refresh all nodes, compile and save. And that should be all set up. Super simple. Let's give it a test. So now when I shoot him, I have 500 points, adds my 10 points on. Gives me a kill count towards the wave keeps running though so we gotta set that up so he doesn't uh, where is this character movement stop movement immediately character movement Do this and do that. I'm just going to try this again. Oh, I know what it is. It's this here timer. So, on this timer, that's keeping him alive. So, I'm just going to set that to one and one. Don't see. All right. So he dies, counts towards, I just want to make sure he counts towards the wave total. So we'll wait for this to start. 
and it should say zombie zombies this round is six and remaining so we want the remaining to drop to five the zombie remaining add points add kill there should be a count towards wave So it's not doing this stuff here. Something is wrong. Count towards wave. Set that to true. Okay, I think that works. All right, zombies remaining. There we go. Now it's five. So all I had to do was this count towards wave total, set that to true. Compile and save. And then that gets him set up. And then to get this spawner, where's my zombie spawner? I think it's start zone. Start zone. Zombie spawner zone. This one here. Zombie spawner zone. Right here. So, to get these AI spawning in, all you have to do is get your start spawner, which is normally over here, or wherever you have it in your game. And then you select your BP underscore, uh, what's mine called, ZST AI. I'm gonna click that. And then they spawn in as shooters. And they killed me. So I'll have to be careful of that. I'm just going to test it one more time. Just to be sure we got it. And be a little more careful, I guess, because they're pretty powerful. This should fix them. And you can see they also spawn power-ups now, too. They switch around. They count towards skills. Everything works the way it should. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Inclusion enabled, query physics, add impulse at location. Oh, it's where I exited out. That's fine. Alright, hopefully this helped you guys out, and I'll see you on the next one.